and girls, welcome to our show today. We're continuing with our segments on factions. Today, we are going to be talking about fourths and quarters. But before we get into that, let's recap what we have done so far. We have learned about equal and unequal pieces. If you look at this triangle, you will see that it is separated into two equal pieces. So we say that this is equal. However, this is also a triangle. But if you look at it, you will see that although it is separated into two parts, just like our other triangle, but these parts are not equal. So we say that this is unequal. We also said that fractions are parts of a whole. We have a whole apple here. If you look at our picture here, you will see that we have a whole apple, just like our apple in our plate. We can take our apple and we can cut it into or separate it into two pieces. We say each piece is called a half. In our picture, you will also see our whole apple which we divided or separated into two equal pieces. Each piece is called a half. But look and see what we can do with our two halves. We can take our knife and separate it or cut it again into more equal pieces. One, two, three, four. Each piece is equal. We call each part a fourth or a quarter. When we separate or cut a whole into four equal pieces, each piece is called a quarter or fourth. Let's look at another example of fourths and quarters. This is a circle. If you look at our circle, you will see that it is separated into four parts. We said that for it to be fourths or quarters, it must be separated into four equal parts. You will see that each of our colored parts is equal. Each piece is called a fourth or a quarter. This shape is separated into four equal parts. Each part is called a fourth or a quarter. Now that we have covered what fourths and quarters look like, let's see if you can decide if the following shapes are fourths or quarters. Let's look at this shape. Does this show fourths or quarters? Look at it very carefully. Fourths or quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each of the eight pieces are equal. But does it show fourths or quarters? No, it does not. For it to be fourths or quarters, remember, it must be separated into four equal pieces. Let's look at another shape. Another circle. Does it show fourths or quarters? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Six equal pieces. Does it show fourths or quarters? 
No, it does not. For it to be fourths or quarters, please remember that it must be separated into four equal pieces or parts. Let's look at another shape. Is this fourths or quarters? One, two, three, four. Each part is the same size. So yes, this represents fourths or quarters. How are you doing? Let's go on to our rectangle. Fourths or quarters. You look at it carefully and tell me. What do you think? One, two. Is it separated or divided into four equal parts? No, it is not. So this does not represent fourths or quarters. Let's look at this one. Another circle. Fourths or quarters. Does this show fourths or quarters? One, two, three, four. Yes, these four parts are equal. So this shows fourths or quarters. Did you get that one? One more shape. Let's see. Fourths or quarters. Does this show fourths or quarters? One, two, three, four, five. Five parts. Fourths or quarters? No, it does not. This does not represent fourths or quarters. For it to be fourths or quarters, you have to remember that it must be separated into one, two, three, four equal parts for it to be fourths or quarters. We have our circle here. Remember at the beginning, we said that each piece must be the same size and must fit together. And do you remember our apple at the beginning? We had a hole. Fractions are parts of a whole. We have our whole circle. We can take our whole circle and we can fold it neatly and very carefully. Make sure all the ends fit together. Now this, as we said, we can take our whole, fold it into two equal pieces. Each piece is called, do you remember? A half. That's correct. Then, what can we do now to show fourths and quarters? Can you think of it? Yes. We can fold it very neatly again so it fits together and crease it. What do we have? Let's open it and see. Can you see the creases? Four equal parts. Fourths or quarters. We can then take our scissors. Remember if you're handling a pair of scissors to ask an adult for help. And we can carefully cut along our creases very carefully remember to ask an adult to help half one two fractions are parts of a whole then we can take each half and cut it again Very carefully cut along the crease because we want our pieces or parts to be the same size. Does that 
fit perfectly together? Yes, it does. We can take our other half and also cut it very carefully along the crease. There you go. What do we have here? Four equal pieces. And remember, they must fit together perfectly, just like this. Four equal pieces. Each piece is called a fourth or a quarter. You can practice at home cutting different things, like a sandwich or fruit, cookie or even cake or just paper or card. Remember, for it to be fourths or quarters, you must cut or separate it into four equal parts. Remember, if you're using a knife or scissors, ask an adult for help. Have fun cutting, boys and girls. Until next time, bye.